and welcome back to Coffees and Careers. This is our second episode, uh, and my name is Jess. And I'm Liz. And uh, this week, we'll be talking about more on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. how to build your network, and personal branding on there. Yeah. And Liz, what do you think is one of the more important things about building your brand on LinkedIn? I think something that's extremely important is just making sure that you are yourself across your entire page and your entire presence on LinkedIn. Um, and that's something that we'll really get into in a little bit, but just being authentic and me making sure that your message is consistent. I think that's extremely important. And I think a really good place to start with that is with your LinkedIn URL. Um, so making sure that that's personalized in some way um, and not just, you know, the automatic one that it gives you. So making sure that your name is in there and just, like I said, personalizing that to yourself, you know, starting there and creating that consistency and that authenticity. Definitely. I feel like that's often overlooked, right? Mm -hmm. You know, in what you're trying to personalize with your LinkedIn and right. there's a lot you can personalize with your LinkedIn, but making sure that you have a concise LinkedIn URL mm -hmm. to put on business cards, to put right. on resumes, to share with people in a email signature as well mm -hmm. can be really nice. So then people know who you are. Um, and you mentioned too about staying consistent mm -hmm. throughout your LinkedIn page. Could you talk a little bit more about what you mean there? Absolutely. So just keeping your voice the same as far as you are the person who is in charge of your LinkedIn page. Right. You're the one who is writing your um, about you section and mm -hmm. you're the one who's creating your posts, making mm -hmm. sure that all of that sounds like you because we want anybody who visits your page to get a good feel for who you are. And that's a really good place to start by making sure that you're the one who's writing all of this stuff out so that way we get a sense of who you are. Definitely, definitely. I know I've read a couple of LinkedIn abouts and it's been like, you know, their name or for me, for example, it'd be like yeah. Jessica <laughs> has was a graduate of the University of Cincinnati. Yes. And she's currently working at Bridge Logistics. And it's like, who wrote that? Right. I'm not gonna write that about myself. Exactly. I want I am a graduate of the University <laughs> of Cincinnati. Yes. I am working at Bridge Logistics. And right. you know, I want people to get to know me, not what someone else has to say about me. Exactly. You are in charge of what you present on your profile and don't use the third person tone or don't have somebody else write it for you. You can have somebody else help you to put things together, but make sure at the end of the day that it's it represents you and reflects who you are. Definitely. Definitely, because, you know, also you're engaging on LinkedIn. You're, mm -hmm. you know, interacting with other people's posts. You want when they to go back to your page and mm -hmm. are looking at what you have in your about, what you have in, you know, your experience section, that it sounds like those things that you're posting, that right. it sounds like those comments that you're interacting with. So people know that you are being authentic and yes. that you are who you say you are. <laughs> Exactly. And I also feel like another very important thing about your LinkedIn and building your brand, like you mentioned, was being intentional mm -hmm. about those different things. Absolutely. You don't just want to, you know, put anything on your LinkedIn. It's not Instagram. It's not, you know, <laughs> Facebook. You want to make right. sure that you're keeping it professional, but yourself. Absolutely. And being intentional really comes down to just liking and interacting with companies and other individuals that really kind of share your values mm -hmm. or your desire for your future as well. So engaging with companies that you are interested in potentially working with in the future um, or just that you support um, you know, their cause or their product or things like that. Those are the types of companies and other connections and individuals that you want to engage with because that again goes back to that consistency. It all helps to paint this picture of who you are and what you're interested in and at the end of the day you know being intentional about who you're connecting with and who you are interacting with um, yeah. especially with brands um, or other companies could help you to get a job or lead you to learn about more opportunities it all comes together and if you've got that consistent background and your profile is all up to date and ready to go companies are going to be able to see that and look at that and see who you are which can again just kind of give you that leg up for that job search as well definitely definitely 
And I know in our previous ep episode, we spoke about how you should have as many skills as possible mm -hmm. so then you show up in key searches that recruiters might be doing to see if you would be interested mm -hmm. in a role there. Um, but again, we're talking about this week, you got to be intentional about that too. You want to make sure that those endorsements or recommendations or those skills go to further the brand that you want to portray, right. the individual, the picture that you want to paint mm -hmm. for people. And with that too, you want other people to interact as well. You want people to endorse those skills yeah. that are you know, showing that you actually possess what you're saying that you right. do and share that love back as well. You know, mm -hmm. go endorse your professor's teaching skills or, yeah. you know, your mentor's mentoring skills mm -hmm. or whatever it may be. Maybe if there's a kid in your class that helped you study for Excel, go mm -hmm. drop them a little endorsement <laughs> and they'll do the same. Right. <laughs> and with that too, that staying consistent, being intentional, having an authentic voice mm -hmm. on your LinkedIn just goes to help in expanding your network, mm -hmm. helping to push out your personal brand mm -hmm. um, to individuals that may be you know, interested in interacting with you. So continuing to stay consistent, be intentional, and be authentic as you're moving through that. Yeah, and I don't want to brush over the importance of, you know, at, at the core of everything, you need to build your network. So have this consistent voice, be yourself, but focus on building that network. That's why LinkedIn exists, is for you to create these connections. So whenever you are interacting with people, whether that's on a campus, if you are, you know, getting to know new people um, in your classes, if it's professors, if it's anybody in the professional world, mm -hmm. making sure that you are connecting with them, building those um, you know, first degree connections will allow more people to see you because the more first degree connections you have, the more second and third degree connections you have, and it just keeps building out from there. So make sure that you are intentional about who you are connecting with, but make sure at the end of the day that you are focused on building that network. That is why LinkedIn is here and having, you know, everything else that we've already talked about is just going to draw more and more people to that page and build that network, and it's just going to keep compounding to help you create a really solid brand and network for yourself. Definitely. And Liz, say I go to a smaller university, okay, mm -hmm. and I may be out in the middle of nowhere, and I don't have a lot of companies either coming mm -hmm. to our career fair or events happening where I can get connected with, you know, professionals in the field that I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. How would you say that I go about creating that LinkedIn and that network then mm -hmm. at that point? So I think LinkedIn is really good for something like this. It's easy to make those connections in, per in person, but you don't always have that option, as you mentioned. So I think finding those companies that you are interested in, if you know the types of companies you want to work for in the future, visit their page, follow them, try and connect with members in their company, and let them see that you are interested in what they have to offer. So liking um, those posts, engaging with their content, sharing their content, all of this comes back to them seeing that you are an active presence. Same thing with, um, you know, different individuals and stuff. It's not just company focused, but just making sure that you are creating that presence at the end of the day is what's going to be very helpful. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else uh, in terms of brand building or, you know, expanding that network on LinkedIn that you think is important to add? I would say just don't be afraid to send somebody a connection request. You know, it's not a bad idea to just put it out there. You know, maybe you're trying to connect with a leader of a company or a president of a company. That might seem like a long shot, but try. You know, see what can happen and just focus on that intentionality, staying consistent, being authentic, and all of it will help you in the long run as long as you are just focused on being yourself. Well, with that, I think that's all that we have to say on building your personal brand and expanding your network on LinkedIn. And please join us uh, next month when we're talking about, you know, resume building and how that's very different from building your LinkedIn <laughs> yes. and all the tips and tricks there. Thanks for watching.